Hello and welcome to my garden and the dinosaurs who live there. <clears throat> okay, so here's the big grow house. Um, I still haven't got the tomatoes and cucumbers in, but there's plenty, <laughs> plenty of other stuff in here at the moment. But over this Easter weekend, uh, most of the things you see here will be out, taken out, and other things, well, tomatoes in effect, brought back in. So, down here we have a couple of varieties of Snapdragon or anti ri anti ri ah, anti ri oh no, why can't I say that? Let me look. anti rhinum there we go. Phew. Snapdragon's far easier to say. <laughs> so, eh, actually, let's look at this. So we've got Rust Resistant Mixed, and this one is the Bobocket. TI. I am saying that. I can't see the label, but I'm pretty sure it is. This one's yellow, so that'll be interesting to see. And this one is a, is a mix. You'll see that I've lost quite a few of these. Um, yeah. Combination of green fly and um, damping off, I think. There's another wee one there. Oh, no, it's okay. It's okay. But these are desperately needing put into bigger pots uh, before they get... Um, finally put into their final position in the garden. So I'm looking forward to seeing those. I do like snapdragons. I love seeing insects land on their little um, the little flowers, open up and, and let the, the insects in to, to feast. Here I have some lettuce. Uh, what kind of lettuce? I can't remember. Lettuce anyway. Um, I had put a couple in each or, or a few seeds in each of these little modules. I'll prick them out and yeah, they should be fine. Here we have some beetroot. Chiogia, Chiogia. <laughs> um, and there's maybe up to four in each of these modules. Oh, I hope I haven't gone too close. Um, yeah, so it's probably four in each of these modules. So I'll plant out the module as a whole and let the beetroot grow and split themselves. Here are my little uh, trailing sweet peas and actually half of these are going, going to go into a hanging basket for me and half are going to go into a hanging basket for uh, one of my friends today. So yeah, they will be put up in their hanging basket shortly. It's a multicoloured mix um, and it's for trailing rather than for growing, so uh, growing up a trellis, so that should be nice. Here's some plants that desperately need pricking out. Um, Rudbeckia, most of them, Goldilocks. But here we have one of my sunflowers. This is um, Italian white. So uh, this is one of the sunflowers that I'm growing as part of Nick's Allotment Diary, Sunflower Challenge 2019. So, yep, yeah, they're looking fine. Um, and a couple of watermelon here. Yeah, a couple of watermelon. That'll be, that'll be fun to try. And at the back there, we've got some broad beans. Um, these weren't pretty chitted ones. Um, oh, they're dry. Uh, they are looking great though. Um, and I need to try and work out where to put them. I might have to just give these away because I'm running out of space already. <laughs> um, this azalea has just been put in here out of the way because I needed the space because I'm having visitors this afternoon. So I'll put it somewhere shortly. Um, there's some potatoes down there that are going to go into a pot today. They are rocket. And then we have some my elephant garlic, which has come up. Don't know what to do with these. Um, I don't imagine they would do okay. I wonder if they would just grow in those pots. Just leave them in those pots. What do you think? I might try that. Just leave them in those pots. Yeah. Okay. So that's mostly what we've got in here. And it's all... Hunky dory. Let's go round to see the other um, 
plastic grow houses I have with some other goodies in. Okay, here's the second of the three grow houses I have. Um, a few Bishop's Children Dahlias, which are looking okay, but not fantastic. Uh, and in the back there, there are a couple of sunburst sunflowers. Um, here are some more sunburst sunflowers. This one's had a little bit of a recline overnight. Um, that's one of my um, cinnamon basils that I've got outside in the grow house. It's maybe it's looking okay, I think. Um, then we've got some more sunflowers. This is autumn. Autumn. Oh, that's a different one. Autumn beauty. Autumn beauty. Yes. And um, yeah, they're looking okay. And then we have, oh dear, these are, oh god, these are tomatoes that I really need to get into pots. Uh, these are tomato uh, solano that I've been meaning to do for ages. And um, yeah, I need to do that today or I'm going to lose them. Uh, everything is just going mad. It's such nice weather and everything's growing. I know everyone's in the same boat. Uh, here's some more Autumn Beauty sunflowers. Happy, happy, happy. And here's a red sun, another sunflower variety that I'm growing. And here we have some, hidden by these poor tomatoes, some celeriac. That's looking nice, my first year growing celeriac. <clears throat> Next row we've got more sunflowers this time at Red Sun. So loads of sunflowers, I'm going to have to give some of these away. But of course I need some for my sunflower challenge a la Nick's allotment diary. Then we have some tomatoes. Um, these are my sun golds, the sun golds from seeds that I gathered last year from my sun gold F1s. So they won't be sun gold, but we'll see what they look like. Uh, sweet peas, I've already got some of our Harry planted out. I need to plant out more. Here's more broad beans. Uh, I have broad beans coming out my ears, so I need to give some of those away as well. <laughs> um, down here, we have got some bought in petunias. These are trailing petunias that um, I'll put into hanging baskets. And we have some some chard that I need to start um, pricking out. And the rest of this, we have I have some pots of different uh, flower, summer flowering bulbs, ranunculus there, there's pink and orange down at the bottom. We've got freesias and then just outside we've got some gladioli, which the squirrels have been into. Boo. Uh, and some more freesias. <laughs> so, yep, that's all. It's all happening here. Okay, third grow house. Let's see what we have happening in here. First off, I've got some chard, uh, fire fresh. So that's looking quite nice. I'll leave it a bit longer before I, um, I sort of plant these modules out. Uh, that's some some peas that um, I'm having for pea shoots. Um, still growing. Oh, hello, Colin. And there's Colin. Hi, Colin. It's a lovely day, and Colin has joined me. And Colin now, for the rest of the summer, is going to be a grey cat because he rolls about in the dirt so much, don't you, wee man? Yes. Yes, you're going to be a grey boy. But that's okay. Anyway, back here. Uh, these are Spanish Dancer sweet peas. Again, need to get those out. And here's the Spencer. The Spencer mix that I gave a bit of a haircut to in an earlier video because they were getting completely leggy, but these have bounced back and uh, looking good, most of them. A wee one back there that's not doing so well, but the rest are fine. So again, need to get those out. Uh, here we have some pak choy. Lots of pak choy. Need to prick these out um, so that I've just got one in each of these modules, I would say, but I probably will use what I prick out and put them somewhere else as well. And here are my Zebrun shallots. I don't know, I feel very behind with shallots. So I actually have got some shallot sets as well, which I'm going to put in today, but um, here's my Zebrun uh, shallots that are looking, yeah, okay. Never grown shallots before from seed, 
Well, in fact, I've never grown shallots before, so uh, yeah, it's all a little bit of a learning experience. At the back there are some very, very late sown sweet peas. They are pretty behind, but most of them are looking healthy, the ones that have germinated anyway, so we'll get those out at some point. Going down, here we have peas again. Peas need to go out. And at the back there, there are some uh, spring onions. Spring onions, I have been rubbish at growing this year, but there's some. And um, some more peas, pea shoots, and my little monkey puzzle baby monkey puzzle tree. So that's it here. Um, so there's going to be a lot happening. It's a wonderful weekend this Easter weekend weather-wise. I think everyone in the UK is having a fantastic time. No, Colin. No, 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 no. Don't be jumping on there. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so uh, lots and lots and lots, lots to do. And I was away on, on a, a sort of short holiday last weekend, so I didn't do anything then. So I'm feeling even more behind. But anyway, that's where we are just now, grow house wise. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I hope you found this interesting. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel um, and you like what you see, it would be great if you would subscribe. And if you click on the bell, uh, that will give you alerts every time I put up another video. So thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful Easter weekend and bye bye for now.